I thought I'll spend about 20 minutes talking about uh, my sort of experience in public matters. I mean, I have a history of private too, in the sense, Infosys and all that. But uh, let me talk about how I got involved with uh, public issues. It really began about uh, 15 years back when uh, Mr. S.M. Krishna became the Chief Minister of uh, Karnataka. And he was very keen to do something about Bangalore City. And uh, I knew his son-in-law very well, V.G. Siddharth, who the guy who started Cafe Coffee Day. And Siddharth was a big, you know, he had been, he was into high-tech uh, investments and so he used to consult me on technology trends. So Siddharth came home and said, uh, can, you, can you do something for Bangalore? And uh, had a body called the Bangalore Agenda Task Force. So at that time, I didn't know anything about uh, cities and I didn't know the difference between BDA and BBMP and you know, BWSSB. It was all alphabet soup to me. But uh, Siddharth said, why don't you come? And so I met the CM and he said, why don't you do something for the city? And that's what led to the BATF, which was a very interesting uh, partnership. We assembled a lot of people. We assembled very good uh, uh, architects, garbage specialists, solid waste management specialists, accounting specialists. And they all came together to work on, uh, on Bangalore. And so we did a lot of things which have endured to this day. For example, one simple thing we discovered was that the police did not get any share of the fines that they collect. And the police, for even for buying a small, uh, you know, chalk or something, they had to go to the government. So we came up with a model where the fines collected went back to the police, about 50%. And today the police get money from, directly from the fines, which they can use for improving the city. We did garbage, uh, solid waste management systems. We built a lot of toilets. We uh, got double entry bookkeeping done in the BM BBMP and so on. And all these were great education for, for all of us on how cities are, are run or, or not run, as the case may be. But the most important thing we did was we created a, a concept called the Bangalore Summit. So every six months, we asked all the agencies in the city to come forth and present to the city audience what progress they had done in the last six months and what they will do in the next six months. So that was a very, very focused thing where they committed that they would get so many roads done, they would get so many flyovers done, they would, uh, you know, get uh, so much garbage cleaned up and so forth. So I think that did create a sense of accountability, a sense of transparency about what was happening in the city. One of the earliest things we did, for example, was implement the self-assessment system for property tax, which allowed people to pay tax without meeting anyone based on a simple formula. And that was because we wanted to create a non sort of a non-discretionary system where people could pay tax on a very simple basis without corruption. Though some of us who had worked on this uh, project got together, at that time there was a new government in Delhi, and we went and talked to them about how we can implement uh, reforms in all cities. And out of that came something called the Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission, where we, we were able to get the union government to commit to a program of city reforms and link a large amount of financial resources to the cities to improve the, improve the city functioning. So that again was, for me, another experience in how you take something we had done at a local level in, in Bangalore City and uh, take it to a national level. But my real big uh, shift to public service happened when I went uh, full-time into the government in 2009. And that was when the government asked me to lead the Aadhaar project or the UID project. And this was... Uh, uh, so I, you know, I, I quit Infosys and joined the government at that time. And the purpose of this project, as you know, and we spoke about it some time back, is to give an identity number to every Indian resident, which means giving an identity number to about 1.2 billion people. You know, one of the things we have done is in the district of East Godavari in Andhra Pradesh, uh, there's a very fine IAS officer, Babu, who has implemented the public distribution system using Aadhaar uh, authentication. And if he saw a 30% reduction in the amount of uh, kerosene and rice sold because the, the, you know, the list became only real people who could claim it. What we also said is if we're going to do this, it's not just about an ID. So apart from the ID, we have attached bank accounts to these numbers. Many of you would have done that for your LPG subsidies. Uh, today we have about 57 million people whose bank account is linked to the Aadhaar number. So really what we have done and the full fruit of that uh, will become visible in the next uh, few years is giving an ID for every Indian resident, making sure that everybody has an Aadhaar linked bank account so that they can get money into their account, making sure that everybody has access to financial services by opening an instant bank account or an instant insurance policy, making the economy cashless, and reforming the subsidy system. 
for me this was a great uh, learning in how you can do systemic large scale reform and that's the way you have to fix problems in india you have to do things systematically you have to work uh, for a long time you have to work in the trenches and and get the reforms done and for me the biggest learning is that if you want to make anything successful uh, in the government you need to really build a very strong cross party cross bureaucratic coalition to bring the change that you want i've had two big experiences in creating jobs one is of course at infosys where we created about you know more than a lack of jobs for uh, it professionals but even in the aadhar project it has actually been an exercise in job creation because we had to build a system that enrolled 30 crore people a year to enroll 30 crore people a year we had to enroll something like 1 million people a day to enroll 1 million people a day we had to have 25 to 30000 enrollment stations and to make that happen we had to create a whole cadre of qualified people to do the enrollment so we 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 created a ecosystem where anybody can become an enrolling uh, operator all he has to do is uh, get get some training get a certification and then he can start doing enrollment anywhere in the country so i think i have fair amount of experience in in job creation and looking at how jobs can be created uh, for people so I, i i when i when i think about it the two things which keep coming up to me from people are infrastructure and jobs and i hope that i can play a role in in, in doing that the way i want to do this is by really creating a a platform which allows everyone to contribute ideas everyone to contribute solutions everyone to contribute time and match the energy of the city with the with the with the challenges of the city and uh, we have done that uh, we have launched something called ideas for bengaluru which is right now on social media but will ultimately make it everywhere but i want to create a formal sort of very interactive collaborative platform for everyone to engage and participate and that's what i'm planning to do we already launched that with the ideas for bengaluru so i think uh, i'm at a point where i i hope i can contribute further i want to be a champion i want to be an ambassador for bengaluru i want to play a role in making the city a better place and i can commit that whatever time i have whatever energy i have whatever resources i have will be put on this job of making a city a better place uh while an mp has one job which is to participate in in uh, national uh, activity to uh pass legislation and those kind of uh, or have oversight there's a huge role for an mp to promote the interests of the area that he represents and i think in and i've seen other states and other cities doing that much much better than we do it here i i do hope that because of being an active uh ambassador and active champion of uh, bangalore in uh, delhi i can make a contribution to the city so i don't buy this that you're only voting because of the center i think what happens here is important to you i mean tomorrow if if you want to create the commuter railroad and you need to get railways to create a joint venture with the state government and get money you need someone who knows how to negotiate that no matter which combination comes into power in delhi and frankly now the jury is out as to who that combination is going to be i think i can play an effective role both with respect to bangalore and with respect to the future of the country because of the next parliament will require people who have are able to bring all this together for because we are going to go through difficult times i mean that's and i think it will require someone uh, require people in that parliament who can collaborate who can cut across party lines who can work with different people to solve issues so and generally when i take up a job i like to do it with full uh, intensity so i do believe that i can make a contribution no matter which combination is there in power